And welcome to the Nature Journal Connection. I'm your host, John Muir Laws. Today, I'm going to explore an ecosystem in my Nature Journal. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to look at two different factors. One is the diversity of trees that are growing in this place. By diversity, I mean how many different kinds of trees grow in this place. So what I'll do is I'll walk through the forest, I'll find the first one, and I'll sit down and I'll draw a picture of it perhaps, I'll make some written notes, maybe take some measurements, and then move on to the next tree, and the next tree, and the next tree. And soon, I'm going to have on the pages of my journal a collection of all the different trees that live here. So that's diversity. I'm then going to look at the abundance of those species. And by abundance, I mean how many of each type are there. So some of these trees will be very common. They'll be all over the place. They will be abundant. Others will be really rare. Maybe I'll only find one or two. So my procedure is this. First, go out to explore. I'm going to make a collection of the sorts of trees that I find. Then I'm going to give myself some really specific boundaries. I'm going to say okay, from that big rock over there up to that point on the mountain, over to there, over to there. And then within that zone, I'm going to count every tree. Depending on the amount of time that you have, you'll pick either a larger area or a smaller area. But pick some area that's kind of representative of this ecosystem. And then go out there and count how many of each one you will find. And what you're going to do is you're then going to get a sense of not just the diversity, how many different kinds, but also get a feeling of what is the, what are the more typical plants in this ecosystem. Let me show you a great system for keeping track of abundance or anything that you need to count in your nature journal. Years ago, I did this. I just made tally marks. So you've used this system before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven. That's twelve. But there's a better system. It's called the dot line system. And once you get comfortable with this, you're never going to go back to those tally marks again. Here's the way that it works. So first duck you see, you draw a dot. Second, third, fourth. So the first four are just four dots that make a box. Now, fifth duck, sixth, seventh, eighth. So the first eight that makes a box. Now nine is a diagonal line and ten is a cross line the other way. So every group of ten is a box with an X through it. So here's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, 13 more ducks show up. I'm just going to draw a box with an X through it. And one, two, three. It's faster. It's really easy to scan. So I can look at this and go like, okay, yeah, that's 33. Once you get comfortable with the system, you're never going to go back to those tally marks again. Give it a try. See if you like it. And if so, you've got another tool in your nature journaling kit. The system that I've been exploring today occurs along the base of the walls of Yosemite Valley. In this area, large piles of granite boulders are piled up in a steep slope right against the canyon walls. And these areas are dominated by this canyon live oak. Here and there, there's some ponderosa pine, incense cedar, and some California bay. But just about everywhere else, it's canyon live oak, canyon live oak. There's some really big trees too. As I look out across the valley, I notice that it seems to be a solid stand, at least from here. I'm looking at a pretty solid stand of ponderosa pine. 
I wonder if there's a really different soil type on the bo valley bottom versus these areas among these boulder fields, and that these canyon live oak do really, really well in those conditions. So doing a study like this, where you're looking at the diversity and the abundance of species, is a wonderful window into patterns in nature. And I invite you to explore the same in your own journal. Your nature journaling challenge this week is to use diversity and abundance to explore a system near you. You could observe birds, trees, bushes, flowers, pick some group, and within a defined area, describe as many different species as you can find. That will give you your diversity. And then go back in and count how many individuals of each of those species you can find. That's your abundance. You can use this same technique to compare two different systems. How are they different? You could also, within one system, explore it over time. How does a pond near you change from spring to summer to winter? What changes in diversity and abundance will you find? And until next time, this is your Nature Journal Connection. Doo doo doo.